Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Meet the Shoe Podcast. I'm Shade. I'm Nina. And we are Shackle History Unleashed. So we got a lot of juicy juice today. Um, um, t- today we're going to talk about Anthony Mims, better known as Big Juke, Yo Gotti's brother, right? Yeah. He was murdered and his mother was present and saw it. She escaped, right. luckily. Um, I think she opened the door and ran from what they're saying. And Yeah. They shot him. Um, it's unfortunate. He was prey for some hours. I'm quite sure they were following him for, for hours because they were at a funeral, restaurant, mm-hmm. and then he gets killed. Right. Why it's so big? Because it's CMB versus, uh, versus Paper Route. And yeah. it all starts with Young Dolph. That he right. got killed last summer. And they did catch two or a couple guys that uh, that they say did the shooting or in connection. And when did you say they went to trial? Just Okay, so they went, um, they appeared in court. Hernandez Govan is mm-hmm. one of the guys being charged in um, the murder case from uh, Dolph's uh, his group is called the uh, Paper Route, right? Mm-hmm. Yo Gotti and them are called CMG. Okay. And um, her Hernandez Govan, the alleged mastermind behind the killing of Young Dolph, is the man responsible for helping the shooters escape mm. that appeared in court. So he appeared in court. Okay. Um, I guess he's trying to get um them to take a um evaluate. He's he's been required to complete random drug screenings once a month. Okay. During the remainder of his case, in addition to his supervision requirements. So he must be out and he's just appearing in court. Right. Mm. So um, from the looks of it, when it's all broken down from what we've been reading online and from what, uh, you know, just the back and forth with like um, black youngster. Right. right? Mm-hmm. He's um a CMG artist, right? On Yo Gotti's side. His brother was also murdered this summer. And um, so, and then there was two other guys that were in connection of um, CMG, which is Yo Gotti's group, that that's a total of four people. There was two more people that were um, murdered, right? So that's four people with CMG and that's one person with... um, with, the, uh, paper route. Pa- with paper Dolph. route with young Dolph, yes. yes. And you know um, didn't they say it started all over a woman? Yeah, I mean, um it's, it's a lot of it's food. always behind a woman. Mm-hmm. It's always, always, always in it, and it's funny to say that because um you would think that. <laughs> You would think that the women are the ones that would try to defuse the situation, but it always is a man jealous. And they try to act like they don't get jealous behind women, but men always get jealous. And all this for one woman, right? All these bodies being taken away from their families and their, you know, their children, everything over behind a girl, you know? What is the jealousy? It's usually behind women or money. Yeah. Yeah. Now have recently there has been, you know, women that would try to kill other women behind men, but majority of the time it's the man, it's the men. Yeah. yeah. Jealous, territorial. Very much so. The thing about it was I don't understand how the the brother didn't have just security just often around him. Why would he think if it wasn't safe for Dolph to go and get cookies from his favorite cookie spot, people could find out and figure that out and at a blink of an eye, then why would it be okay for you to attend a funeral without security and think that it was okay? And that people don't still love this same man, you know? But you know, it's some people maybe he thought that he maybe wasn't in connection. I'm not sure how that that's going. Um, 
we never know what the people that's in print jail is saying. Right. Because there's the you got the attorneys, you got the lawyers, then you got the jailhouse or lawyers in jail or the jailhouse yes. snitches. Yeah. And they telling all the business outside and everything that goes on <laughs> in the prison system, it gets out. Believe that. They yeah, probably, everything. They probably know stuff before the streets know. Right, right, they get, definitely. They get this side scoop from the streets now. So yeah. maybe, uh, yeah, it's it's tight. I wonder what Yo Gotti has to say about it. I mean. Well, the best thing for him to do is to continue. He's going to have to live with security for the rest of his life. I remember there was a time when um, Dolph was at a hotel. I can't remember what um, state he was in, but um somebody unloaded on him like about a hundred times or something. Wow. And it had something to do with Gotti and his, his click. Right. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. Is it going to start being a, you know, a, a domino effect to where they're taking out other artists that's a, in association in associ yeah. with, and with be. the clicks because you are who you're connected to, right? Mm -hmm. Whoever mm -hmm. your circle is. If your circle is into things that you're not into, the best thing for you to do is to eliminate yourself from being around but, that, right? But the same token, you're still part of that group. Even though you might eliminate yourself, you might say, okay, I'm not going to hang with these people. I'm not going to hang with them. I'm not going to be on the streets with them. You're still connected in their sight. You know what I'm saying? They're, 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 the ops feel like, hey, I don't care. He's still part of them. We got to, you know, prove our point. You know, it's always something when it comes to, um, how can I say, clicks, gang affiliation and uh, rivalry. So what would the what would that code be? Right. <laughs> what would the street code for that be as far as you being a part of something that doesn't have anything to do with you and you're jeopardizing your family and your children for being associated with this and all you're trying to do is eat? That's it. All these people are trying to do is feed their family, put out the gifts and talents that they have mm -hmm. and live life like Dolph didn't deserve what happened to him, period. Right. He was taken away too soon from his children, from his wife. Right. Mm -hmm. And people are really upset about that. He has yeah. just as huge. And then Memphis, Memphis is such a homegrown you know, shout out to my family in Memphis. They yes, they, exactly. they are such a um. You know, your the South is our our people that take you in. You know what I'm yeah, saying? That yes. love on you, care yeah. about you, and it would be hard to say that there is no jealousy in 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 amongst the state, amongst the you know the the region of the South, right? Right. But there is more love there versus like because the North. This, they were hardcore, right? Southern has hospitality. Very, uh, very, very much so. Welcoming, you know, they they love to cook and feed you. You know what I'm saying? Right. They feel like more, um, that brings you closer together, eating and having family gatherings, you know, it's good for the soul. Right. They'll take you in. You can live in their house and, you know, not to say they won't charge you rent or anything, what? but, you know, they'll help you. They're more yeah. to help you. And it's sad that the two groups that the older groups wouldn't come in, you know, Juicy J and them wouldn't come in, which it's not, you know, I know they probably feel like it ain't none of our business, right? But I'm I'm trying to figure out how come, you know, nobody um, of the elders, you know, the music scene or whatever didn't come in to get these groups to chill, you know, because what? now it is hurt, it's hurting not just the rap world, we're on the outside looking in, right? We're just, we're just reading the news. We're, 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 we're discussing the news, right? But from the outside, it appears that what, you know, we look at it as why isn't it there no unity in that community? Cause it's so small. There's unity in the community. It's just that they all clicked up and divided with their unit, unify uh, circles. So it's, it's, it's difficult. I mean, I hope that someone do step in and right together that's that's really that's and that's even worse that imagine you know his mother if his mother would have been hit right so now his mother has to the blood pressure probably high just the fear of mm. even being you know just around it to see your son being taken out yes being present at your son being taken out 
I couldn't imagine that, you know, that, that, that's, that's really devastating. You know what I'm saying? Prayers to his mother, because she ain't in deserving that she don't got anything to do with none of this stuff. No, exactly. Exactly. So please y'all come together and the elders, please get this, this, the whole city. Right. The two groups, you know what I'm saying? The, the people that's of the community, you know, that, that, that needs to be addressed. But, you know, we're just reporting the news. So. Yes. So we're going to fa for, fast forward. Mm -hmm. Old President Trump winning yes. by 51% of the vote in the Iowa caucus. I mean, okay, 51%. He right. is uh, doing pretty well with the 90 or uh, 100 charges he has against him. Yeah, Trump, 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 Trump is he, going to Trump is about to Trump. Okay, he's, about to Trump. he's trumping. He's yeah, trumping. So he knows the law inside and out, and he, he knows has. business. He knows business inside and out. Mm -hmm. So you can't hate what he know. Right, now it's Trump bullcrap. <laughs> can't hate the player. We hating the game right now, right? Because the game ain't fair. Hey, look, it's not. It's not. And um, hey. He he's not letting up anyone. Um, Do you know any other thing? thing? What what is what is Trump promising? Him. What is he promising along with? Because you know he just was in court. Um, he was just in court. Uh, what was it? Just not too long ago, he just was in court about the um, uh, the woman filing a, a defamation suit against him. That and what didn't it have something to do with sexual assault as well? Yeah, she, no, I no, think no, she no, just no. she wants to be paid out, you know, like anyone else that went through some sexual advances of anybody that's in that stature and that has money like that and can pay right. out. She just went on a paid or under the table and let it go like uh, other people do. But right. okay. <laughs> who can say? So uh, what is did you, do you know the things that Trump is saying that um he's going to do? Not really. Um he changed. hasn't led the what 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 I'm I'm looking up now what is Trump promising, right? What is he promising to do because that's that's ultimately what people are are looking forward to. Yeah. Everyone is really upset that the Democratic Party didn't do nothing, nothing at all for black people. OK, uh, or they had the power at that, all because he promised the member, the student, um, the forgiveness for. Uh, yeah, and he didn't do any of that go through because yeah, I still was, have my student loan. But, you know, it wasn't fully his fault. He could probably he could bring something to the table, but everybody else vetoed it. You know, so it's that whole House the representative, the Senate, all of them need to go. Everybody. I mean, because they're not, um, they're fighting against each other and they're not trying to uh, pass any laws for the people. Right. They're not trying to do that. So Trump, everybody's last impression of him when he left office, we had, it was COVID hitting the world and he was passing out checks. Point he blank. said that. That's <laughs> their last impression. So everybody's thinking, hey, if Trump get back in office, we're going to get They're going to get some money. money. They're gonna get some money. That's what everybody's looking for money. Because what 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 we can say is that when Trump was in office, our rent was not high. The the uh the um the the interest rates on loans was not high, right? Right. When the when the pandemic came in, everybody was eating. Everybody was approved for loans. Yeah, there was no rent that really you had to be paid when you pay rent. You got a chance to be late and late and late without being charged fees. Right. So everyone's looking for a bailout. Everyone is looking for a bailout and they feel like Trump is going to be the guy to do it. Well, maybe. So I'm, and, I'm uh, seeing well, who endorses him now. Um, What is that? Sweeney? Sw Kwame? Swami? Yeah, yeah. He bowed out. He he was running and yeah. he was running and now he's endorsing him. Yes, he is. And it's another one that's in another uh presidential candidate that's endorsing him as well. Was no, the there's a one um that's going with against him is uh Nicole. Her name is okay. Nicole. Okay, she's running but, against but, the Republican. 
he no, he plans to he's planning to um he's still planning to deport for be, de deportation raids. Okay. Terrorists and mass firing. That's his goal. <laughs> mass firing of what? The Congress. I guess he, I guess he's firing a lot of congressmen. Yeah, he, he said that uh, plans to. Um, let's see. Look, he's gonna do like he doing do, did on his show. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. He's gonna get with right. the president. We. It's nobody. No one's gonna be in that uh Capitol building. <laughs> he said he don't care about the charges against him. He ain't worried about that. Why? Why? Because it's less than Trump a year for election. Trump is uh, dominating the race for Republicans, dominating and has already laid out a sweep, sweeping set of policy goals mm -hmm. should he win the second term. Guys, we are um, in the middle of January. Election yeah. is in a couple I'm gonna say a couple months. Six months. Let look. It's coming. Yeah. Out. So it sure is. Make their decisions to see who's they're gonna vote for, who are, who would they vote for, and please make it strategic on who you voting for because it gotta be somebody. It, okay. So everybody's saying you know Democrat, Republican, or Independent, right? Mm -hmm. Here's the thing about that. If even if you pick the person. Who's to say that they're going to do anything for you? I don't know anything. Honestly, I don't know every single thing that by uh, even Obama even tried to do. Trump right. reversed it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, exactly. So it doesn't matter. It's yeah. for temporary. All you could do is get what you can get for whatever the president at the present is going to do for you, and save and plan for a, a either worse or one. Or a maybe a better one, right? But, but it always what? gets worse. But you know what? Guess what? Minnesota has a, a runner. It he sure does. The other a couple days ago, Minnesota mm -hmm. announced Congressman Dean Phillips. Dean Phillips nomination. So yeah. he's only fifty four years old. That's good. You know, what I'm saying young, fresh mind. He got yeah. uh, fresh ideas. That he has. He's bringing to the table. So we're gonna see how that works. He's a Democrat, so we're gonna see how that works. Yeah, he was um he's um part owner of the Belvedere Vodka. Oh yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he um that Jay Z made famous, right? Yes. He talked about how Jay Z um, you know, blew up his 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 uh his company brain. and didn't even ask for a hand in, just did it because he liked it. Mm -hmm. I, he never asked, he never once asked. To be a part of the company or for any money. Wow. He said that, and, and that lets you know our power in the com black community, how powerful we are. He said that that made them millions and trillions of dollars just by pouring out the vodka and they exactly. marketed, they marketed to the T. Mm -hmm. They actually met with him, had a dinner with him, but he never asked for no money in. Look at all that money that he left on the table. Mm -hmm. So what are you learning as the power of your voice mm -hmm. and your platform? What your platform does for other people? Yeah. Here yeah. it is that he endorsed yeah. the whole um, company yeah. and, did, and, didn't, and didn't ask for a dime. Think of how much money just that. That's not even rap. That no. he would have generated in his family just off of that he was doing something out of the goodness of his heart you know they already got money jay-z and them got plenty of money you know yeah so, yeah he talked about dean phillips talked about how much of a businessman jay-z was mm -hmm. but i just that just the lesson i received out of that is that don't allow nobody to do you know get more than you off of what you built the things yeah. that you built, you know, yeah. and marketing that—that that was the really good marketing up, yeah, for right. that company. And yeah. he didn't, and, and he didn't get anything. Mm -hmm. So we'll see what this president. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't hear of him enough. I haven't he heard him speaking enough. Of course, but I would like just, him to do it. Yeah, he just. Um, 
put his hat into the to the race. So we'll see what he says. He wasn't at the Iowa uh, co- uh, convention, so maybe he'll be in the next one. Right. Yeah. Race. So we'll keep because y'all posted on that. Happened. You know what I'm saying? So he missed all that. So he feel like I he's think- not running against. He's not trying to run against Biden, but he said he mm-hmm. wanted to be a fresh face under the Democrat um, Democratic's uh, nomination. So we'll see. Okay. We'll see. Well, y'all, that's all we have for today. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you check us out on Friday. Peace out.